Yo, 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 Raider Nation, what's happening, baby? What's happening, man? I know it's been a while. I know it's been a while, but it's been an exciting day today in the Raider Nation, baby. Um, homeboy Q, he, he, he just getting home. He just called me stuck in traffic. He's just walking in the door, so he'll be on in here in a second. Um, hopefully GQ will be on in here in a second also. Um, but wow, what an exciting day today, Raider Nation. Um, so cool, Kev, what's happening, my brother? So all of a sudden, my phone starts going off, man. I get a text from my homeboy, Joe. Um, he like, oh, man, the D-line there. The D-line ready, baby. The D-line ready, man. We, we, we done signed um, Christian Wilkins. Man, I'm like, huh? And then all of a sudden, I get I start getting all kinds of texts, and I get the ESPN update. Man, this D line is woo yee 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 suave. You know, baby. Oh, man, we man, we've been we've been dying and, and desperately needing the uh, interior defensive line. This is huge, man. Mad Max, Mad Max is going to get the help he needs, man. You know. We paid a lot of money, though. We paid a lot of money, but, hey, that D-line with Max Wilkins now, um, and you got Koontz and and, um, and the kid we drafted last year, man, I mean, hopefully he can come along because he was a little bit of a disappointment, but he was a rookie. So, so you know, it's all good. Malcolm Koontz really stepped it up, though, and Max is finally going to get the help that he so desperately needs, man. Um, and and when you help D line out, you're helping out the you're helping out the corners, you're helping out the safeties, you're helping out the linebackers. You're just, I mean, pressure burst pipes, man. Pressure burst pipes. Patrick Mahomes is he's a little upset right now, man. He's happy he didn't lose Chris Jones to us, but but we got a real one coming, man. Uh, I want to say I want to say Wilkins put up numbers last year equivalent to our whole defensive interior. I mean, he's a monster. He's a monster. He's like 311. Um and he had like he had all kind of pressures, more more pressures than our um yeah, and Wilson did play. Tyree Wilson did play better in the middle, Tony. You're right, man. Definitely. I was saying that we definitely didn't draft him to be interior defensive line, but Hey, if that's where we got to put them, that's where we got to put them. Vega, what's happening, my brother? Um, Corey's in the building. The New York homies in the building, man, for sure, for sure. Um, but oh man, I'm I'm excited. I'm I'm excited, man. Uh, so so, I, I, Tony, I was saying that I was like, I was talking to my boy Asan today. He called me, so I'm getting calls. My phone's blowing up and everything, and and. And I'm like, man, we just got to throw, we just got to throw Tyree Wilson in the, in the, in the, in the middle, man. And, and, um, uh, he's like, ah, oh, yeah, but we draft, I'm, I'm, I understand what we drafted him for, but he played better there, man. We just kind of got to take the L that we shouldn't have drafted him that high in that situation. But if we can get him to work for us, interior defensive line are, oh my God. I mean, we're talking like fearsome, foursome kind of stuff, man. Like I said, um, Wilkins had had like numbers of our whole D line, and, and what's crazy is Bilal Nichols. I want to say he signed a big ass deal somewhere um, today too. Not not huge, but so it's like really. I mean, D line is super legit, man. And then and then after all that, we pick up Gardner Minshew, man. Minshew mania, baby. Um, a a Vega and, and um and Corey, man. I, I hope you guys ain't mad because that's the quarterback of team porn. You know, I know Brian Dinner going crazy out there in New York, man. He's so happy right now. And I and and I love it, man. I, I'm I'm happy with that, man. He's you know, um anyway, hold on real quick, guys, because cause Q done made it. So let me bring my brother Q. Q up in here so we can all talk about this for show. Sure. Q Ski. Yo, yo, what's up, Thor? What's up, Brady? Oh, Nation? man, just chilling, baby. Just chilling, baby. What's happening, Tanya? What's happening? 
uh, you know, AQ. It was it was it was a big day today, bro. It was a big day, man. You know, we we did lose Josh Jacobs today. Um, Josh Jacobs, man, was a great Raider, man. He's 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 gonna be one of my favorites. Uh oh, you know, to remember, man. Just, but it is what it is, man. Um, you know, the running backs kind of get disrespected now in the league, man. So, you know, it's just kind of the way the game goes now. But I'm excited, bro. I'm excited, man. Christian Wilkins, bro, that he's legit, legit, bro. Our yeah, D line, one, man. Q, man, our D line Q. Oof. Yeah. We, we ready to hurt people, baby. We ready to hurt people, Q. Yeah, that was big for me, man. I, I I wanted a big D tackle. You know, Chris Jones was out there. You kind of figured he probably was back with with, with KC. Um, and after that, it was for me. It was Wilkins. You know, Little yeah. Williams was out there, but he was you know he's like thirty, couple years older. Um, right. I just love what Christian Wilkins brings. Man, I think he's twenty eight years old, four year contract. I mean, that's huge. You're right. Ex- exactly. Exactly. I mean, honestly, what's um, one of the homeboys that told me he he got a little, you know, he got a little inside knowledge and stuff, though. But um, he also had told me that the the Wilkins was the main the main dude they wanted to go after. I mean, age plays into it, you know what I'm saying? And you probably oh. had to figure Chris Jones was gonna want way, 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 way. I mean, we paid, we paid a big, we paid, we paid a nice, hefty check to Wilkins, but, but right. um, uh, Chris Jones was want, gonna want way more than that, right? So I think, yeah, I think Wilkins got like ten million less uh, guaranteed. You know, right. maybe five, four or five million less a year. It all adds up, though. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, all, sure. those, yeah. all those coins can be used somewhere. <laughs> yeah, right, That's right. Sure. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. I, I mean, you know, and then who knows? I mean, Chris Jones might have wanted more to, to actually leave. He might have gave them the little we got back to back and we're trying to be the greatest team ever with three Super Bowls in a row discount. You know, like when you get in that many millions, you're like, all right, I can maybe let a couple go to stay with my with my homies over, you know, over here or whatever. And if he left, he might have wanted more. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. Not for sure. I'm just saying. I, I think it would have costed us a way prettier penny. But I, I think age, though, too, man. Um, I think age is is we're better with Wilkins age wise, you know. Yeah, that's um, what I think. Everything is huge. You needed somebody to take some of the pressure off Max. You know, uh, yeah. GQ talked about it maybe last year when they got Tillery, how it helped free up Chandler. It helped free up Max a little bit. And Tillery, uh-huh. you know, he's just a, a big dude, caused a little bit of havoc. Um, when they released him, I think yesterday or the day before, I was like, ooh, I think we might we, we might be able to get one of these D tackles then. You know, so it Max get double teamed so much, man. He needs somebody to push the push the middle. So that was that's huge. Yeah. D line wise, and if you can get Ty, you know, Tyree Wilson second year, if you can get him to turn a corner, you know. Right. Got some good experience, got some experience at D tackle now. Uh right. D in with, with Koontz. I think that can be big. Uh, huge, bro. I think I think so too. I know I was talking to Hassan about it. Hassan wasn't too big on on Wilson playing inside. He's like, I think he's too small for the to, for the run to 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 but for the run. He needs to be more on the outside and and use his speed and stuff like that. And 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 I think. There have been times where they've talked about Tyree Wilson even be able to play linebacker because maybe he's a little faster and and whatever and not as big. So so that makes sense too. But I think he played well inside, right? Because he's got big arms and big like he can he can he can still he's use strong. that. Yeah, he's strong. He's hella strong, he's so he can strong. still use that to his to his advantage um, to stop the run and stuff like that. Um, I, I, to me, bro, that, that front four right there is just devastating, bro. If Koontz 
continues to do what he did last year and get to me just get better, right? Because all he's doing is getting better. So if he keeps getting better, bro, to me, the sky's the limit on the D, man. And then after all that, we go ahead and pick up, baby. We go ahead and pick up Minshew Mania, bro. I, I'm I'm happy, bro. I'm happy, man. I, uh, who knows if Minshew's even going to start, but I mean, the money you paid him, you kind of think he will. I mean, but AP said it's um it's um Aiden O'Connell's job to lose. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if you paid that much. I want to say two years, twenty five million, like fifteen million guaranteed. I don't know if you paid that much for a backup. Um, then maybe yeah, he's yeah. just talking. Huh? That's- that's just not a lot of money as far as quarterbacks go, man. You know, and you have yeah. to have quality backups at the quarterback yeah. position because your quarter, your starting quarterback go down, the season could be over. I Quickly. I eat the Jets last year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, uh, even Minnesota when their quarterback went down, the season was over. You know, they thought you had a doing this. Yeah, you win a couple games, but it's just you're out the window. So a QB competition, I'm good with that. But you had to bring in a veteran. I still think yeah. they might draft one in the second or third quarterback in the second or third round, but you had to bring in a veteran. Yeah, you can't just have a dude in the second year and two rookies. That just <laughs> that don't work. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for sure, for sure. A Rod in the building, right? Tony, Tony definitely is agreeing with you that that's not starter money. That's that's that starter money more like thirty to forty. I I hear you, man. I, so, yeah, so good. I, that's what I want. I want competition there, man. I want competition yeah, there, bro. Yeah, I, I like that. You know, uh, I was kind of hoping for, honestly, at that point, kind of Russell at $1 million. I was kind of rooting for that and then maybe draft somebody in the second round. But, you know, you pay yeah. more with Minshew, but it is what it is. And he's a, he's a veteran quarterback. Hell, he beat us last year. So, he took us out of the playoff competition. I mean, he took us out of the playoff contention last year, as a matter of fact. But yeah, straight up. So you know, yeah. I know you like it more than I do, Thor. I know you, I, you I, talked about I do. In the I do. I like Gardner Minshew. I do like Gardner Minshew more than you do. I, I don't. I'm not in. I'm not in love with Gardner Minshew, but I do like Gardner Minshew, and I I think that he's solid. Um, I think he's a good bridge quarterback. So so now to me. If you go out, if you go out, and what I want is the is is the fix the offensive line. So if you go out in the first round at 13, I feel like you don't even got to move up. And you get you I, – I mean, I like to do it out of Penn State because I'm a Penn, Penn State fan. Um, there's the other guy, Fu – I can't say his name. It's F-U-G-A. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, there, there's a couple of solid. I, I just want to get the offensive line fixed. I want that if, if we say at 13, I wouldn't mind with the second pick, depending on who falls. Then I can even say, see, maybe you trading up a little, you give up maybe next year's second, and you can move up if if one of them quarterbacks falls, like a Penix Jr. or or whatever. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know about Bo Nix. Um, I, I think I like Penix Jr. over him. I know he kind of shit the bed in the national championship game a little, um, but I, I still I like Penix, man. I, I Penix like Penix. Decent in the national championship game. They just what? Michigan Michigan's defense played really good. They got down. They couldn't stop the run early. Uh, yeah. Wide receivers missed a couple balls. He he probably missed. He missed a couple throws. But you yeah. know, it, it, oh, that happens. You know, I. I like Penix. If they can get him in the second round, I think that'd be dope. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right, right. Um, Bo Nix, I like Bo Nix. I don't say I like Bo Nix, but I think I think getting him in, you get one of those type of quarterbacks in the second round, you don't give up draft capital. Um, right. You don't have to pay them a bunch of money. They can sit for – whoever drafted in the second round, I think they can sit for a year unless they just come out and shine. And they right. can sit for you and learn. I think that's yeah. huge. And hell, Patrick yeah. Mahomes sat for a year. Jordan Love sat for three. I mean, yeah. and those hey, guys Green Bay good at sitting people. 
Green Bay good at sitting people. Aaron Rodgers sat for a while. Well, yeah, yeah. So, but you get him, and then there's no pressure. It takes the pressure off. You don't have to do this. You don't have to. You got this money. You you in the NFL, and now it's all on you. You know, like right. so much is uh, relied upon on you. So they don't have to go through that. They can kind of sit, learn how to be a professional. Uh, yeah. Bring them along. So I don't, yeah, think that, I don't think that'd be a bad idea. For sure, for sure, man. Even the long one, man. Maybe third round. Um, I wasn't a super big fan in college, but uh, uh, what's his name? Out of South Carolina, he was at Oklahoma. Uh, Spencer Rattler. He was Spencer the number one Rattler. quarterback. Uh, yeah, he was yeah. the number one quarterback going in. I mean, sometimes just, you know. Some people yeah. are better college players than pros. Some people are better pros than college, you know. That's I mean? true. So, That's a fact. Bro, I'm like, not a huge fan of Spencer Radler at all. But, yeah. but again, if you get someone like that in the third, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the upside, yeah. the upside is so huge depending on where people go, you know. Uh, right. So. I mean, because nobody liked Tom Brady coming out of college. Nobody liked Brock Purdy. Nope. Nobody, you know. Nuts. Uh, no. Nobody liked Kirk Cousins when he. I mean, they liked him, but he was drafted in the fourth round. Kirk Cousins was one of nobody's big time board like that. Dak Prescott was took in the fourth round, uh, right? You know, so you take a flyer on somebody like that, and it, it just lessens the blow if it doesn't work out. Then yeah. just rolls the third round pick, goes the fourth round pick. Right, right. It, it's definitely not the end of the world. It's just that we continue to miss on first round picks, right? So, if you go first round quarterback now, now we can we can all agree that um, that that the top three quarterbacks, Caleb, Drake May, and um, and Jaden Daniels, they're gone. They're gone. They're gone off the board. Um, probably one, two, three, right? And and then JJ McCarthy probably going. Um, no later than like 10, um, right. maybe 12 now, to the Yankees, but because now Minnesota needs a quarterback. What's that? Yep. I said now Minnesota needs a quarterback. I think Minnesota picks like 11. Okay, 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 yeah, so okay. Yeah, need a quarterback also. yeah, yeah. So, so, so there, there, there's probably a heavy run on quarterbacks. That's what I was, that's what I was getting at, right. There's probably the heavy run on quarterbacks. Obviously, Chicago needs it, and and um, and um, and who else is there? Um, Washington, I don't even know. Oh, New England, and and uh, Washington. Up they only put, what's up? Yeah, yeah. Washington so, up there, like second. Right. So, so quarterbacks the big run. So unless we unless we move up, unless we move up, I. And I, I don't want to do. I just don't see a point in getting a quarterback in the first round. I, I feel like I need someone who's in the first round who's going to come in and start for us. So if at thirteen we pick the fifth or sixth best quarterback available, he's not a first day starter, you know, to me necessarily. I mean, he might he might win the job, but. We need someone that's going to come in and start right away to me. Uh, yeah, I think on the first uh, was that? offensive line, uh, Jermaine Illuminor, he signed with the Giants like two with years, 14 million. So he's out yeah. of there. So they definitely yeah. need the right people. Right. So we got um, Colton Miller. Hold on. Let me see. It looks like GQ here. GQ. In the building. Yo, yo, What's going on, fellas? What's good. happening, my brother? Um, Shit, yeah, man. Yeah. Happy to be here. For sure, for yeah, sure, man. Good. Hope all is well, my brother. Um, I just, I feel like, I feel like, yeah, okay, we, we re-signed Andre James. We got Colton Miller. Um, other than that, man, I think we need, we need help, man. I, we need, I, I, I'm not even a big fan of Andre James. <laughs> well, we got Farham, right? Farham. Uh, so, but, I think but we, cool, we, man. we need to I fix the what is, I was looking at what some of the centers got paid and the guards got paid, man. A couple of them got a whole bunch of money. 
So Andre James, he ain't like I don't want to say he's top five, but I think he's in the middle of the pack. You know, right. I didn't see what his contract was, but I'm sure it wasn't earth shattering. So no, it wasn't. He was it wasn't solid, it. Yeah, he was a solid player, man. I, I think that, once again, I think we need help on the O line, but I think that the line played pretty good last year. You yeah. know, um, well, I think they played the, better later too. I, I agree. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. And I think so, it has well, to be when you get a different attitude and you want to, you know, coming out saying you want to run the ball. Offensive linemen love to run the ball. Right. right. They don't have to, you know, step back and play. Um, block these <laughs> super athletic dudes, your TJ Watts, and, and, you know, you just attack. You're on attack mode. So you pick up a, oh, maybe pick up a tackle with the first pick. And then maybe in the third round or something, get a, a guard. You know, guards normally go later in the draft. So we're not late turd, but they don't go first round. They go and it's a lot of them. Second, third, fourth round. And they come in and start. Yeah. It's, the, it's a lot of them, too, in this draft. Yeah. There's, a lot, there's a lot of guards out there. So you're definitely going to be able to find first day starting talent in the third, fourth rounds. Probably even the fifth round, maybe, depending on. I'll shit fall. Right, right. De- I mean, definitely, definitely, man. I, I, I want to say, I want to say, Farham is like a third round, a third round pick, right? Um, yeah. So, so it's yeah, definitely, man. We can get, we can get, we can get starting old line a little later, um, but I, I, I just think with thirteenth pick, we want to get a. a, a Beastie offensive lineman that's gonna be there, that's gonna be there for the next decade. You know, um, I want I want to sew that up, bro. Because no matter what, O line, no matter what, O line is always a necessity. Always, 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 always. So. Yes, sir. I want it, it has to be an impact player, bro. Actually, we just need that third. We need that pick. Whoever that player is. We need that player to be an impact impact player. That's, yeah. I, that's for me. It's it's as, it's as simple as that. And and it does matter the position, but it don't even matter the position. It's just whoever that pick is needs to be an impact player. Instantly, instantly. I I I hundred percent say that too. And they should instantly be a day one impact starting player. That's why I don't think if you stay at 13, you can go quarterback because that's going to be the fifth or sixth best quarterback in the draft. And they're not even guaranteed they're a starter. They might, they might be the backup. They might be the third string quarterback for all we know. Um, So, so so I, I think with Tony best player available, um, I agree, but I'm just and, saying. And, like, I mean, I believe like the Christian Wilkins. The, I mean, the, the, the Wilkins pickup was huge for me because to me now, with your 13th pick, you don't have to go defense. You don't have. Um, you don't have to. But what if you do? I mean, it's it's a, it's a possibility, but I'm just. It's you could you could and and you could just for the reason that I just mentioned that it's it's kind of deep with office alignment in this draft, so you 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 wouldn't be risking a whole whole lot if you did go defense first round because you're definitely going to be able to pick up second round talent third round talent on the on the line. So I mean, it'd be interesting to see the route that they go. You know what I mean? Especially it'll still be interesting to see what direction they'll go with a quarterback. I know y'all probably touched on it before I jumped on. Um, but yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting to see how that how that you know plays out with it. Um, and I'm like you, Thor. I don't necessarily want to reach for for anybody or anything. Um, best player available is is the 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 the, the plan the goal. I mean. Yeah. But when you have a whole lot of options, I don't know. I would take a hard, a hard decision, just depending on who and what was available at the time. Falling, falling into your lap. I mean, maybe, maybe you, you trade, maybe you trade that pick. You know what I mean, and try to uh, get a couple more picks. 
Perhaps. I'm not me? mad at that. I'm not mad at that, that if we trade back. I'm not mad at that at all, bro. I'm not mad at that at all. Um, you know what? If we trade, what about this? I mean, I'm just throwing out scenarios here, too. I mean, if we stay at 13 and um, what's his name? I think Byron Young. Is that his name? By or Byron Murphy. Byron Murphy. Uh, yeah, the, the D lineman out of Texas. If you pick him up, bro, I feel like the, the D line is just it's it's so super beefy now, right? But then what do you do with Tyree? You just got now you got now you got rotational pieces and the D line is just monstrous. Um so I, I could see that. I could also see you going corner there, but what if you traded up, so we, we we're pretty much. I mean, everyone's pretty much in agreement. I don't know, though, it's one hundred percent. But if it goes quarterback, 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 top three quarterbacks off the board, what if you moved up to four or even five? Because I don't know where they have them going. I think Marvin Harrison Jr. is the best player in the draft, bro. What if you move up and, and get that though? The offense got to score points, bro. I, I, somebody got to give him the ball. Bro. <laughs> somebody got to give him the ball. You know I mean, Gardner Mitchell, he's cool. I like him as a decent backup. Maybe come in and start for a little bit. But he had 15 touchdown passes last year. Aiden O'Connell had like 10. I just, somebody got to get them the ball. We got Devon, we get Devontae. Jacoby Myers is solid. Tucker is solid. I like them. Somebody got to be able to get them the ball. Right. Like, I, I think I think we got enough. Hey, you got to be quiet, sir. Huh? Well, I mean, not enough, but I just yeah. – I mean, for me, I just – I think Byron Murphy – I think – I thought yeah. Byron Murphy, if we yeah. didn't yeah. Get, a, get a free agent tackle. Yeah. And these, these, they've been drafting tackles for a couple of years, you know – they got to develop some of these dudes. Right. Like they developed Malcolm Coots. Like Divine Diablo finally came around. Yeah. You know? Right. I mean, you just lost your starting right tackle. I, I get they got – this is a deep draft, but I just – to me, best player available, yeah, but I would like to see a tackle at this point. If you're not – that's what I would like to see. I uh, I I, I agree I with you. Bro. They can go get a guard. Um, like GQ was saying, the third, fourth, fifth round, maybe he can come in and start because you know guards normally don't go as high. But I mean, I definitely don't want to get a corner for me personally. If they get one, I'm gonna either. be with it. Of but I think with that pass rush, a pass rush is a cornerback's best friend. Right. And we got to be able to score points. A lot better. Yeah, we got to be able to score points. I think the defense showed last year, the second half of the season, how good they played. Now you're the one that got another, made a splash on defense. Yeah. I mean, I, I just, they, they got to get this quarterback in this, in, the, in this blocking system all the way right. Yeah. The best way yeah. to help no. No and Gardner miss you is a running game. And to, to block <laughs> when they pass. It. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Well, that's where I'm at. I, I will go. Uh, I will go. The dominant defender, if he's available. The best tackle available. And then. What was the first thing you said? The the that the Brian Brian Murphy the that guy if he was if he was there I would take him uh just like just what Thor was saying like I, yep we need all of that what you said Q but man uh to have a formidable line like that especially two cast in the middle that we ain't seen like a combination like that since Seymour was here right in the middle just we could have it. Um, but then to have Max and Coons and you know, to have Tyree, whatever, like you said, whatever they would do with Tyree, float him around, throw, throw five, five live and down, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, it will be pretty crazy 
the opportunities I feel like they would give the offense or whoever was on that side of the ball. Um, so I would, I would definitely, if he was there, I would take him. And if he's not there, I would go like you, Q. I would go the best tackle available immediately. You know what I mean? And, and, and solidify in the future right tackle. Um, and then after that, I would, I would then probably just go best player available after that. You know what I mean? I would be open to a trade back. I would say if I don't get if I don't get the, the the top defender, if I don't get the top tackle, if we're and we're saying that we're out of the quarterback sweepstakes, right? We're not being able to get the one of the quarterbacks, then I would probably at that point do a trade back and try to get a couple more picks because I feel like any player at that point we felt like we wanted, we could possibly get later in the first round and get it picked up a couple more picks. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's where I would be at with it. And, and when I say trade back, when we, for me, when I say trade back, I don't mean trade back for spots to get a six-round pick. You know what I'm saying? We trade mm. back, I mean, I want a, a second or a third or something. Like somebody that can still come in. Yeah. Six-round picks can make an impact, but I'm just saying, sometimes you trade back just for the sake of trading back and that shit don't help me. Nah, yeah. I agree so with I that. Wanna, if you, right? if you, just for the sake of doing it, either. right? If Fortunately you, for us, you got to get something for it. You got to get something for it. Just like when you're trading up, you got to give up shit. It's the same right. kind of thing. Got to be something decent, right? It got to be right. like it got to be like. I, I mean, I'm only okay with trading back. Say we we pick at 13, and and we, we're gonna go back to to like 19, and we feel like. One of the dudes we was looking at finna be there anyway. I need at least an extra second round pick for that. I, I can't not not know if I might need a second and a fifth. You you know what I'm saying? Like I I need I need I need something that's that's that's, that's worth it. Otherwise, no, nah, I'm cool. We just can't help people out that easy. And and I know what you're saying. Yeah, right. so I'm not I'm seeing that like. But what, what did we really get for that? Like we got a fifth round pick. That, yeah, that's not yeah. like nah. So so I feel you. I feel you. Uh, but again, I think I think uh, it it depends on too what you think is there and what's gonna go. Um, that's big, man. I, I just think we gotta have a solid plan. I think we got to have a solid plan. I think um, Telesco, is that his name? Tom Telesco? Yeah. I think he's kind of a gambler, though, too, right? In his career, he's shown he's kind of a gambler or no? So, so, so I think I was, he might try to, he might try to pull something off, bro. I, I was, man, he still might try to, he might still might try to trade up and get one of them top three quarterbacks. And if that was the case, that would be really interesting. Oh, big uh -oh. And also, the only thing we really talked about, uh, Josh Jacobs leaving, did we, Thor? No, we haven't really yet, man. And, and, and yeah, we definitely got to talk about Josh, man, because – I love for Josh, man. Josh, we got to have love for Josh, man. <laughs> I like what Tony said. So let's go build solid rosters. Chargers just do charger things. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they, be good, they be having a good roster. They just, they be horrible, though. They be having a good roster, yeah. good players. Yeah. Diamonds in the <laughs> Hey, they, 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 they just going to be the Chargers, like, man. Oops. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. So, Josh, honestly, on my opinion, man, when I had heard that he was, they was really trying to work on something before free agency, and when he didn't sign before free agency, I kind of was like, yeah, this don't look good, you know, it don't look good, yeah. um, because you kind of see the writing on the wall, you know, most teams were signing their own players before free agency hit. And when you yeah. don't sign him, and you let another team come in and and and, and allow you and you know throw some extra dollars at you. And it's like, hey, you know, um, Josh to have his, you know, and we all know the running back game, man. They 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 they, they kind of do them kind of 
whatever, kind of dirty, kind of whatever. But when you hold out and you come in right before the season starts, it never, it really usually never works, especially for running backs. Especially for running backs, it just never, it just never really works, bro. So you come in, yeah. he had, I think when when he got hurt, he probably was leading the league in carries. We all wanted more carries, but he was leading the league in carries. And then when Zeus would come in and run the ball behind the same O line, I just, and he averaging five a carry. It just, I don't know. <laughs> It's just tough to pay a running back that much when your backup come in and do a little bit better. I think Josh is better than Zeus. Y'all all know that. But when you running back get hurt and the other dude come in and average a yard and a half extra a carry, I mean, management going to look at that like, yeah, we'll pay you. We ain't going to pay you all that, though. You're right. That was the, uh, that was the Tony Pollard effect. Right, that's what Tony Pollard is, right? That's Tony Pollard did to, to Zeke Elliott, right? Same right. shit, yeah, yeah. You know I mean, yeah, they shipped him and they shipped and they shipped Zeke right on the fire. They thought Zeke was a franchise running back, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. When the, when, the, when the cat behind you seemed like he put in a little bit more work, you know what I mean? Right. And that yeah. price tag is way cheaper. That's, and that's the fact that you would do that. The price tag. Right. Big time. This is Because Zeus was what, a fifth round draft pick? So he probably game make, game. I don't know, I'm going to just say a million a year. You know? And then, of course, I think they're going to go out and get one of these free agent dudes. I don't know if it's be, you know, I mean, Derrick Henry might go to uh, Baltimore or Joe Mixon is out there. Aaron Jones is out there. They're definitely going to probably going to draft somebody. So. I heard they was interested in, in trying to uh, talk to Eckler. You know, you got that Telesco connection. Well, Eckler ended up signing with Washington. Eckler signed. Oh, oh, that was done? Yeah. Was, I, w- I wasn't even paying attention to that. Okay, two, cool. Two years, yeah. 11 million. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yeah, two years, 11 million. Yep. yep. Reef in the building. What's happening, my brother? What's yeah. happening, man? Hey. Here's here's the team points quarterback making it on the team, man. Uh, 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 so yeah, I mean, honestly, bro, I'm 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 ecstatic about today, bro. I don't care. I, the the Gardner Minshew thing, cool. I, I I'm not like Gardner Minshew, bro. I think that's a good signing, um, but. But I'm just so ecstatic about about the D line, bro. I'm so I'm so happy right now. I feel like I want that D like when we when we grew up, man. I want that D. Uh, I mean, Greg Townsend's and Howie Long's, and you know that D line was for real for real, man. Even uh, the, uh, Tom mm-hmm. and, uh, and then, uh, another big and, tall dude. And, you know, I mean, dude, I, I just. I, I don't know, man. I'm so I'm so happy about I'm just so happy about the D. I feel it's gonna be on the right path, but we gotta see, man. I, I just I I gotta see it. I gotta see this offense do something. I gotta see this offense. We can't be losing games three to nothing, bro. No. We yeah. can't be losing games three to nothing. Reef, I totally disagree. Everybody knows yeah. I hated the Chandler Jones signing. Yeah, he did. was 31, was... three years, 51 millions. I hated it. I got on here and I said I hated it. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know he, he was did. crazy. Or, had me- or excuse me, I didn't know he had mental health problems. I didn't know that. But I just didn't like to sign from the gate. Dude had 10 sacks the year before, and five or six of them came in one game. Like, I didn't – yeah, I was totally against that. <laughs> right, right. I like Wilkin signing. He's 28. You know, he's a young guy, up and coming. Um, yeah, I, I really like that pickup. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, brother. Age. The age is a big was a big factor. So That's huge. That's huge. Huge, bro. Huge, man. I just think I think that too that that it just it helps max out so much. Um, oh, right. the, I think because of the emergence of Malcolm Kuntz is what makes it even bigger. Because of the emergence of Malcolm Coons, bro, it makes it even bigger, man. Um, so we'll see. 
I mean, you know, I, we're not we're not there. We're not all the way there yet, but we're not we're not that far away from our defense being pretty elite to me, bro. Uh, so ah, we'll see. We'll see. Defensive scheme for Josh. I mean, <laughs> I get it. Yeah, of course you're going to scheme for the league's leading rusher a little bit more for sure. But it's the same, it's the same old line. <laughs> then, if, yeah. then if they schemed against him so, got, so good, then, the, then, then I mean, we have a quarterback, but we should have had more completions and better completion percentage and all types of stuff. But that's just it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, bro, I love Josh, bro. I love Josh. I'm really sad to see him go, but at the same time, like you said, man, when the, the production goes down that much, I mean, the, the, it, it, like, unless you really like not taking that much money, we just it's just a business, and you can't, man. Much love and respect for everything Josh did for us, man, in his time here. But it's, it's time to go. It's just a cold game out there, man. The yeah, running back yeah, game sure. is a cold game, bro. It just is, man. So, I mean, I, I hope he does well in Green Bay. I really do. I hope he does. I hope he does his thing. That that's oh, cool, I, man. And I hope Zeus does his thing here, and everyone, everyone works, man. And and uh, you know, uh, we'll see. We'll yeah, see. Yeah. Well, it's just like I said, man. When you when you when them holdouts, even with the yeah. Niners, man, Bosa held out, came right right before the first game of the season. He was defensive player of the year before. He he in in the Super Bowl, he was taking plays off and it was crunch time and he was tired and gassed. Man, that just that holding out, I get it. Get your money. Everybody knows I'm all for it. Get your money. But when they mm. tag you, when they franchise tag you, there's not much you can do. You know what I mean? So, you know, three point five a carry, and it just you know, early on it was it was some horrible play calling, but yeah, three point five carries, three point five a carry, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh no, man. We'll see, bro. We'll see. Oh. I mean, we'll see. We we just got. We also got to have the. Um, Oh, that's 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 true too. That's true too, Tony. With Zamir, he definitely he he wasn't worth the twelve million a year, man. Whether we love him or not, bro. Like to me, it couldn't have been to me. He he had a he had a sign for seven or eight, bro. And and, and he's just not. He just wasn't gonna do that, right? And I feel him. I can't be mad at anyone who's like, man, you get twelve, and 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 you want me to take seven or eight, right. like man. I mean, you just. Just put that in perspective. That's that's four to five. <laughs> you know? Like right. me, now I mean, uh, you and I don't want me. nobody to think, and I don't want nobody to think that that Zeus should get twenty five carries a game. They need to bring in another back. Maybe they can complement yes. each other. Um, yeah, you know, because when you can go out and get, I don't know, maybe Derrick Henry, like I said, Mixon, Jones, maybe six million a year. I think Josh is better than all of them, but is he twice as better? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Right. I wouldn't say that. Right. Uh, I, exactly. And Reef, I also, we, I, I understand no, I we don't. Better. A thousand, like there, Reef. A thousand, for real, for real. Yeah, we know that. I mean, we're just saying, we're just saying that, mm -hmm. that it's just, it's a cold game for running backs, man. And that's just kind of the way it is now, man. It's, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. But they doing them all like that, man. It's just it's just tough, man. I, uh, yeah, Max is out there giving 8,000%. And I felt he deserved for them to get him a, a, a quality, solid defensive tackle. Yes. They've been trying mm -hmm. in the draft. They've been trying with – these little free, these little uh, pickups in midseason, but he, I think Max deserves for, for them to get them for him to get a solid D tackle, man. And I just, I think we just, we needed that more than we did a twelve million dollar round. And I yeah. really like, and I wanted to resign him. I wanted to give him ten. I don't, you know, hey, I don't know what they offered him. Right. 
Yeah, that's just gonna be uh, that's just gonna be trouble next season, though, bro. Uh, D line, uh, uh, interior pressure for Max Crosby is scary. It's scary. Yeah, I think that's you. It's scary. Max Crosby gets double teamed so much, man. For them to have to really focus on the, that D tackle with with the push and stopping the run, I just I just think that's. And big. don't get it, don't get it twisted. Uh, uh, Kuntz's win rate in 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 pressures was was up there. Last season, in terms of him getting to the getting getting pressure, getting to the to the quarterback, and obviously, it's all going to stem off of Max. But I'm just saying, the the leap that we were wanting out of him is what we got, you know, and, and what we were hoping, you know. Hey, if, if Coons take that next step, it could be something. So to see him take that next step is very encouraging because that just you know that just lends itself to. You know right. what? What we right. got going? Right, right. I, honestly, but that's why I said, I said, I think it was before you were on here. I, I said the signing because Tony said Wilkins was an amazing sign, and it, I mean we were going crazy. Like, like I was so fired up and so happy when that happened today. And to me, what made it? What I said earlier, what made it a bigger signing and a bigger thing is the emergence of Coons last year. Like. Like brother, the, the 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 front four could be the front four could be legendary with with these dudes. You know what I'm saying? Like you close, you close to putting together like a legendary front four if you can get Coons to build on what he did last year. Because he's obviously he's building, he's getting better, right? He it's not like he's peaked and he's coming down. He's still going up, and obviously Max is Max, and now you get Will. Oh, bro. I mean, if- remember, remember, Kuntz's only problem was was uh, reps. You feel me? Kuntz's only only problem in the past was reps. He wasn't getting reps for whatever reason. In camp, he was the Kuntz that we seen. Is that's the Kuntz that we seen when they played him in the preseason? That was the Kuntz that we seen. But then, for whatever reason, he would get no reps during the year. Go figure, right? And so we were just like, man, we wonder what it would look like if you gave him a season and he got, you know, actually got, actually got reps. And this is what we come up with, right? You see, put Coons out there on the field, then he's going to be able to contribute. Um, my biggest thing for next season, as we're talking about the, the D line, is Wilson, right? So, in all fairness to Wilson, this is going to be, if I'm not mistaken, his first official. Off season, right? Where he's actually going to be able to be in the building, work out, go to OTAs, go to the training camp, go through the whole process, and actually build and develop there. So I'm real interested to to see that you know development and him being able to actually be a part of you feel me the the the, the build. And so who knows? Because we really don't know what he can be. GQ, I agree with that so much, man. Wilson, like you said, he had the foot injury last, you know, November in college, and he missed all the – basically missed all the training camp and missed a couple games and, you know, finally started coming around. Then when he finally played, <laughs> he was so slow off the ball like he had senior <laughs> shoes, bro. That was crazy. <laughs> bro, that was crazy. <laughs> Antonio Pierce, I saw him talk about it, and he said – you know, when the guy is out there with the rest of the team and he gets to figure it out for himself, like, you're not where you need to be. Now you get out there, You, I'm not saying he wasn't listening, but he, Antonio Pierce just suggested that, uh, insinuated that maybe he wasn't listening to us enough because he's probably been so big and fast, he's always dominated. But now you're in practice, now you're in the game, now you ain't doing absolutely nothing. So now you're listening. So then he's... You, his get off got better. His get off got better. They moved him inside because Kuntz was playing so good. You moved him inside. It kind of worked out, but can he be long term inside? I don't know. He'd have to pack on some more pounds long term, but right. it'd be good for him to have a full, like you just said, a full off season with training camp, you know, and get under max tutelage, man. Get under the, get under the army. And I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. We know for sure, I don't know how much, but he's going to get bigger. 
don't think that he's not going to get bigger. You're going to see that. You're going to see that transformation too. And and the one thing I will say from the small little highlights or, or little little flashes that we have saw of his what his strength can be, we saw him throw some big niggas around rather easily at times. You know what I mean? There's been times where you've seen him just throw throw a big guard tackle around like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, what was that? You know what I mean? What was that? What was that power? What was that strength? So, you know, the again, I'm 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 definitely interested to see his his development because because he's not he wasn't as bad as people tried to make him out to be. You know what I mean? Um he did have a slow start. It, it was plain to see, you feel me? But he definitely does show a lot of promise. And he does have have, have high upside, so I'm um, I'm still curious, you know, and interested to see and see how that and how that's that part of it when you draft players that are hurt, <laughs> right? You know yeah, saying? that's right. You draft players that are hurt; they're not ready yet. They they like I said, he didn't even have a training oh. camp or nothing. So can we please know, not so, draft a hurt player this year? <laughs> oh, bro. Ah, bro. <laughs> bro, you drafted <laughs> medical miracles and like. <laughs> Oh, all the time, that? though. All the time. Oh, it's like a pattern. All the time. Is all the time. time. Oh, yeah. Man, all I know, though. The cold. Is... Huh? No, I was, I was going to say the cold part about that is that's been through multiple regimes. You can't even attribute it to just one regime it's been through multiple regimes bro they they always draft somebody injured it don't even matter who is the coach general manager they're gonna do it <laughs> draft it's crazy or draft somebody way too high just crazy Shit crazy bro. <laughs> crazy, <laughs> just, bro. <laughs> crazy <laughs> bro it just don't make no sense man hey, it's all when, I dope. A, when i watch a, when i watch the draft and I'm waiting for our pick, and we kind of pick top 10 or something, and we pick somebody, and I say, who? I'm a bit, I'm big into college. Right. I know I, I I look at the draft boards and I'll be like, who? I just know it's probably not gonna end well. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's probably not gonna end well. Yeah. Somebody put up a, a list of all the former Raider players that's getting ready to uh play in uh What's the season that's getting ready to start right now? The uh, USFL or US, US, UFL, yeah. whatever the fuck that's just called. The oh, other league. Oh. Yeah, it's 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 hella it's hella X Raiders in there. Oh. Hella. I'm sure hella first and second round picks too. Well, bro. Yeah, I, look, I know Gary on Conley. Gary on Conley was in there for sure. I see his name for sure. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> We was getting these dudes in the first round. In Tony the Mitchell, first Mike round, Mitchell. Bro. The year uh, Josh got drafted, we drafted. We had three picks in the first round. Three. Yeah. Who yeah, it's pretty crazy. The safety mm -hmm. in that corner. Ah, the corner that was going to shoot everybody. <laughs> Arnett. Who, who was that? Was Arnett, yeah, right? Damon Arnett. Yeah, Damon that's Arnett. And Abram. And Jonathan Abrams, yeah. Jonathan Abrams, oh my oh god, my bro. <laughs> I think he uh Abrams Abrams back back playing with Jacobs. They in oh. Green Bay. Yeah, I don't even know if he on the team, bro. He might have got cut, dog. He said we drafted Hayward <laughs> Bay, bro. Oh my god, oh, bro. I forgot about that one. Uh oh. the HB. Or uh, uh, as you keep saying, the medical miracle uh, that was a uh, Hayden from Houston, yeah, with, the, with, the, you know, with the with the heart heart uh, issue. Heart yeah, issue. Rest in, rest in peace, DJ Hayden. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy though. Yeah. Oh, he had. Oh, he had. Oh, he had passed. Yeah, he passed through. Huh? Wait, yeah. where am I? Where? Well, I said he had passed through. Where I been? Did I know this? I thought that's uh, your accident. Yes, I did know this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Like last year, like yeah. sometime during the football season. Yeah. yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. You know, we'll be, we be drinking. I don't know if Aaron Jones is coming, man. I don't know if Aaron Jones is coming, but if he comes, he comes, man. We'll, we'll see, um, A Rod. Um, I'm good with it either way, bro. I'm, I'm good, good with it. I think Aaron Jones like 29. 
Okay. Okay. And he's and he's and, and, and running style wise, he's not that much far off of Jacobs. Aaron Jones is he's still, he's still pretty decent. He ain't that much off. Not that much. Yeah, we right, ain't right. Them yet, so, you know what I mean? right, right. Hey, new new team, new whatever, man. You know, we'll see how it works out. But um shit, they play they play just about as much. I think Jacobs missed just about as many games as he did. Sure. <laughs> right? <laughs> and Tony, when I said that, uh, when I said, uh, that uh, complimenting each other, I just meant you just don't want one dude to have all the carries. I just mean, like, it, it's tough for when you give a running back 25, 30 carries a game. I mean, eventually, you're probably going to get hurt like like Josh did when you give it to giving him 23 carries a game and giving the other running back two. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying is I, I just want them to spell the if, if one dude got 15, one got 10, 17, yeah. and 12, whatever. But I just right. that keeps everybody fresh. That keeps the defense guessing. That was kind yeah. of my I saw that earlier. I wanted to just tap in on that. Yeah. I like it, bro. I like you know, it. you know, we still got the uh we got the we got the young cow. So as you're talking about development before you before you say what you're gonna say, Thor, I'm gonna let you say what you're gonna say. We got the young cat uh, uh, that we still want to see about uh, sincere McCormick sitting wait, waiting back there in the, in the in the back wings. You know what I mean? We got the training cap coming OTAs. We see what his development is looking like. Yeah, bro. I, I, I like I liked how he was looking last year. You know what I mean? You know, that could be an interesting little little uh, caveat to the to the to the running uh, to the running back room too. Because what's, what's crazy about that is, right. I mean, uh, since McCormick, it was a couple uh, linemen we had. You know, the, the NFL game is okay, you're probably not going to make our opening day roster, but we're going to put you on IR, we're going to pay you, and then you come in next year fresh with a shot to, you know, a shot to compete. So it'd be interesting to see what, uh, see what Sincere got because he looked decent in preseason last year, you know. Yeah. And running back, yeah. running back their whole life, man. Do you know how to run the ball? You know what I'm saying? Do you know how to read blocks and, you know? Mm. Oh, I'm not oh, super. Yeah. So, like I just said, brief. I don't want. I don't want Zamir to have 250 Ooh. carries. I'm looking for them to go out and get an Aaron Jones, a uh, for cheap, a uh, Derrick Henry, a uh, Joe Mixon. I'm looking for them yep. to do something like that. Bringing a veteran well, running back. That's what that's what I'm trying to say, man. Get you a veteran running back, bro. I yeah, need I need I need one dude to get like 17 carries, another dude to get like 12 carries, and then you got like a third down back who will occasionally get a draw and um and catch some balls out the backfield, might get three carries a game and, and three catches a game. And and basically between them three, you got 32 carries or something and you have and you but you but the two main guys are close to split and they're like 65 35 or six or 60 40 carry what carries why you know so you keep them fresh you like you said keep defenses guessing all that stuff man the caffler in the building what's up my brother uh, we, we i'm not sure if he had an acl i know he definitely had some injuries I'm not sure if he had an ACL, but he is like 29, though. Mm-hmm. He looked good in that playoff game last year. They when they lost to the Niners. They should have gave him the ball a little bit more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> I feel it. Yeah, I feel it. Also, Reef, honestly, bro, I just think. When they get when they did franchise tagging, I mean when you when you when you hold out till the week before the season starts, that just never works. And they I get it, they should have signed him. I wanted them to sign him. I think somebody mentioned earlier about him playing in the Hall of Fame game. They didn't pick up his fifth year option. All that stuff, all that stuff factored in. But when they yeah. franchise you, there's really nothing much much you can do. He held out yeah. to the bitter end and got an extra million bucks. Well, great. We'll go. So now you got to go enjoy the. You got your money. Go. You got now. You got to go enjoy the Green Bay nightlife, and playing in two <laughs> degrees, and playing in two degrees in December. Right. 
So, you know, it's pros and cons, man. I understand both sides. I really want them to resign Josh. It just, yeah. QB sucked, though. Yeah, it was bad. He played, he played, he played football in Bama, though. They, used to, they played in the cold. Say it again. Be all right. I said he played football in Bama, though, right? They played football in the cold. He'd be all right. At Bama? They make it. You said Bama? They, they, play, they, they played in the cold, right? It's cold weather in Alabama. They play teams with cold weather? No? Stop it, G2. Stop. <laughs> it ain't cold Alabama, weather like Green Bay, bro. South? It ain't two degrees. It ain't snowing. It ain't none of that. They don't play teams. I'm saying you play you play over there on that way, right? It's play play somebody in the cold. Yeah, yeah, we can go and play yeah, play a game in the cold, but they. It ain't like me. I play. I play. I play football in Azusa at Azusa Pacific, nigga. We had no no weather. It was we was playing in 70, 80 degrees every day. That's in the in the winter, in the summer, in the in the in the, in the spring. It doesn't matter. We was. We was playing it. You compare? You really compare Alabama to Green Bay? Like what? Right. I'm saying they play cold, cold weather. I don't. I'm from the West. I ain't from the East. I, shit. I, I, I figure it's get cold everywhere in the East. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's just called the frozen tundra <laughs> for a reason. Okay. Hey, let me say this, GQ. So, did you hear about what happened with the KC when they played? That some fans is getting fingers and shit amputated because they got frostbite. When it was like minus two in that playoff game, at Kansas City, yeah, yeah. is Kansas City at, is Green Bay though? Is, is Kansas City by Green Bay? Is Kansas City by Green Bay? Kinda, it's that Midwest type stuff, yeah. Missouri is Missouri closer to Wisconsin than it is Alabama? Is Missouri closer to Wisconsin than it is Alabama? Let's do uh, where's the where's the where's the, where's the, where's the, where's the geography? Yes. I don't know where, where, where Missouri is yeah. compared to yeah. Wisconsin. You right up. They don't play too, cold bro. weather in the in the south in the SEC, Alabama bro. not minus two, bro. Ever. <laughs> and yes, KC is closer to Wisconsin. Yes. Shit. I know. I played in uh in North Dakota. That shit was cold too. Yeah, for sure. Negative. Yeah. Negative. Yeah. Negative. Yeah. Negative twenty-seven. Yeah, that was rough. That was a rough one. How many yeah, catches you had? That's, that's a tough one, yeah. How many catches two. you had? Two. <laughs> you held on, 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 on two targets. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's what's up. My dog. I was I was still the I was still the freshman then. So the, the the seniors that was in the playoffs. Seniors was getting to play. It was cold, trust me. I can give you that story. Too cold. Right north of Chicago. You know Tony from Chicago. Oh, yeah. Tony Shout out. Out. Yeah, the people in the East definitely going to know all that East shit. Yeah, the East. Yeah, yeah, the East Coast. Yeah, that, that, should, that should get real over there. I'm just saying, I wish Josh well. Yeah. But enjoy. 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 <laughs> that, that frozen tundra. Hey, hey, I, real talk, man. Real talk, man. Because I, yeah, I got to get off here pretty quick anyway. But oh, that, that sound good, Reese. <laughs> but, but, I and and I love Josh, and I wish him well. And once a Raider, always a Raider. But he ain't he ain't gonna be a Raider this season. That hurts me. But, but it's it's just man, whoever whoever we bring in, I hope we do it right. I hope we get it right. Everything's good. I like Zeus. Hopefully, he does what he did the end of last year, and all that. Man, I'm 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 excited about the defense, though. Man, I'm having a great day about the defense. I mean, the, the Josh thing hurt a little, but but the defense the the defense was great to me. I'm personally happy with the Gardner Minshew signing, man. I. I mean, we one like you said, Q. We had to get a quarterback in there, a veteran quarterback. You had to get a veteran quarterback. We have a second year dude and two rookies because we got no one else there. That yeah. that's a fact. That's a fact. Uh, that's a bigger fact than all of them. So no matter what we do, whether we try to get up in the top three and get one of them dudes, or we stay pat. If we stay pat, I really pray we go offensive line or. Even or if the or if the defensive kid Murphy is there, 
I'm okay with that, but I'd rather go. I'd rather go offensive line. Um, I just want to get the line right. I want to get the line right. If, if we feel like there's dudes we can get later in the draft, though, that are offensive linemen, we'll see how it works out. I don't know if today got me fired up, though. It got me fired up, baby. I feel like. QBs <laughs> matter. The show. The show. Hey, it was a good day, though. Somebody got to sling the rock, man. And Devontae needs his catches and Jacoby. And we got and somebody got to make Meyer be the guy, man. Like, yeah. I don't think the dude that got picked ahead of Meyer was that uh, the dude from Detroit, that tight end. He got picked one pick ahead. I don't think he's not mm-hmm. that better than our guy. You know what I'm saying? He just had a better veteran quarterback throwing him the ball. Right. So, I just, yeah, QBs matter. And that shit is big. I wanted this is this is my thing. Let me say this. I wanted I, going into this offseason, I wanted to figure out this QB thing. We still ain't figured it out. We kind of put a band-aid so far. Um, and I wanted to de tackle. And I think we're gonna be a real problem. I'll be yeah. listening to on social media to funny Raider fans and whatever. Everybody got their opinion or whatever. It's whatever. And listening to the uh uh ESPNs and your radio talk shows and nobody think we're gonna do nothing and why we spend all this money on this defensive tackle and we ain't even that good. We might win nine games. I love it. I just think we was a defensive tackle and a quarterback from being from being it. That's that's where I'm at. So if Gardner Mish Gardner come in and step in and bridge the gap to the next person and be it, I'm with it. But he yeah. got to have more than 15 touchdown passes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> facts, facts. Shit, I mean, he, he got he got Devontae and Jacoby now. You feel me? And, and Myers. So he got, he got a little more help. Yeah. Hey. He yeah. got a little more help. You yeah. know what I mean? If Zeus go for 26 touchdowns, he don't got to go for more than 15 touchdown passes, bro. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, <laughs> He probably got to go for more than 15 touchdowns, all right, for sure. We don't, we don't expect Mitchell to be the day one starter, though, man. I, I don't. I, I, I wholeheartedly expect them to do something. What that is, I, I can't say exactly, but I, I expect, I expect them to do something. Um, I don't believe because even when you look at the contract and people gonna look at that contract, it's that's not a contract where you're saying we expect a whole lot out of this guy it's 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 a little little north of where you want for your backup but 15 guarantee yeah you know what i mean like he he, he he beat us last year shit gq you gotta give me an answer you gotta throw something out there so i'm sorry i know you gotta go gq you gotta throw something out there and say i think we should get i think we gonna have i want to hear that well, what do you mean? I already said. Well, I think we should get Jaden Daniels. Yes, nigga. I like. I've already said that. That's why I think we should get. I've said that you know, already. But are we going to get him? Probably not. It's probably not going to happen. happen. He's probably not. We ain't been on it. Hey, we ain't been on it in a month, and I ain't heard you in a minute, man. You ain't say that today. I was just trying to check to see where, check your temperature, see what. You nah, got. I mean, you remember I said before. I if we if they the only move if they was to move to get a guy. For me, it would be Daniels. And people was like, well, what about Caleb? Or what about, you know, whoever, whatever. I said, I personally will move to get Jaden Downs. And maybe you could, I'm a, I'm a homer. Maybe I'm an LSU guy. Maybe it's whatever the case. But I think with, when it comes to AP right now, this this connection shit, as you see how Jack Jones is able to come in and kind of just kind of just plug in to his, to his program because he's already familiar with that. I would love to see that that reconnection and that familiarity and that comfortability that Jaden already has with AP because of their lifetime of, you know, being together, that one little bit makes a little bit difference. And, and maybe yes, Taylor, maybe is a little more talented or, or somebody else, but those little intrinsic things, I think it, it goes a little bit further because of that, that connection that they have. I, I would love to see that personally. I don't think it's going to happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's just a ways to go, man. I, I was saying yeah. Jaden early until now they, when he was maybe five, seven, and now he's looking to go on top three. Yeah, that's rough. It's, 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 it's real rough. For sure. What y'all think about Justin Fields on the way out? What y'all think about Justin Fields? 
for a fifth round draft pick, sure. I take it on the low. Hella. I hella take it on the low. Like what about third or fourth fifth round? round draft pick? Well, four. I was th- I was stopped at four. I'm not going to three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not sorry, going to three. I do four. I do four. I'd be happy with five. I do four. I ain't going lower than because they got it. Because they, they, they most likely taking Caleb, so they got to get rid of the pick. I mean, they got to get rid of him for real little compensation. I mean, it is, you know. Yeah. I think. I think. Um. Two. I think. And, and uh, Josh was talking about this earlier. This move actually helps us. <laughs> taking Garner Minshew, bro. Taking Garner Minshew actually helps us. It 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 doesn't help uh Justin Fields stop at all. It doesn't raise his stop. It kind of it kind of lowered his stop. You feel me? The more quarterbacks coming off the board, or whatever, it's gonna lower his stock and his his trade ability. So that could actually help us in the long run get him for a lower a lower price, especially especially with Kirk Cousins signing with Atlanta. With with Atlanta, um, it's yeah, was, it, it was it was it was kind of a it was kind of a little decent little chess move. If it plays out that way, it was kind of a decent little chess move um, in the way that they that they did that because it, it kind of really did hurt uh, Fields uh, his his stock a little bit. Right. So we don't gotta mess with y'all. We got this dude. We got this veteran guy over here. We ain't gotta mess with y'all. So. You gonna get him off for that fifth rounder or what? Everybody you you, you got him in? Right. So we'll we'll see how it play, we'll see how it plays out though. Shout out to to Dodge, man. Shout out to uh, you know uh the the cast over there, at Mount Shieldmore. Man. So the reef, man, reef hilarious, bro. We went from getting Daniels to some dude with a nineteen seventies mustache. <laughs> we went from a porn star Jimmy to a cat that looked like a porn star. The most seventy porn star, you know, porn star Minshew, the official quarterback of Team Porn. Hey. <laughs> Buddy, hey, buddy. but but we still we still it's still yet to be seen, Reef man. I I love I love I love your thought process though, bro. You already know. Uh, but it's we still gotta wait and see. We still until until it's done, it ain't done. You know what I mean? It is what it is until it ain't. You feel me? <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's all that's, that's all we that's all we can we can go with. You feel me? As of right now, you, you already know it. It's still gonna be nation or nothing. And whoever is on the squad, whoever end up signing on the dotted line, we riding with. You feel me? But to this point, we still on the wait and see. For sure, let's do it. He said he got the, he got the seventies. The seventies. Uh, he said LC got the eighties full on cops. I be thinking it's the Highway Patrol State Trooper stash, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> and him, 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 and O'Connell together. Oh my gosh, that's uh, just crazy. Hell yeah, that's that's, that's great. Funny, bro. That's that hilarious, bro. I wish, we, I wish we could hit people like it was. I wish that the D could go out there and hit people like it was the seventies and eighties for sure. <laughs> And make yeah, sure y'all take them shots, man. While y'all in here, everybody that's yeah. in here listening, that's gonna sign in and chime in, get hit that like button, subscribe, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend, and bring them in. Man, honestly, honestly, man, we appreciate y'all for being here, man. Y'all always here. Um, we we gotta start trying to do this more often, man. And 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 seriously, I'm, I'm gonna try to start doing it more often. It falls on me more times than not, man. But I'm gonna. To, that I, I be bullshitting, so I'm gonna try to try to be more serious about doing it more often, and uh, and you know what I'm saying. Push, we we gonna start pushing, trying to push, do it more often, get the subscribers up, all that man, get more people initiated, start doing fun hey, shit. Like man. Talk, man. It's almost summertime, yeah. man. We got we gotta have the drinking club party out in the pool and shit, man. Get, get you know, kick it, do it right, man. We got, we gotta, we gotta do our thing right, man. All, all y'all in the East Coast, man. A Rod and 
and and Suave um, and 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 Reef and Vega and everyone who was in it tonight, especially out there, because it's like one after one in the morning out there, man. We love y'all, man. We yeah, we appreciate y'all. For sure, man. Nation or nothing, man. We Nation love y'all, nothing. man. All day. Tap All in. day, every day, man. I'm excited for the season. I know it's a long way away, but this got me fired up for sure, for sure, man. 17 and 0, baby. 17 and 0. Woo! Oh, <laughs>